how our next guest went from undrafted quarterback from a small college to longtime All-Pro for the Dallas Cowboys and now the most celebrated football analyst in television history. He's probably psychic, too, from the NFL on CBS. Please welcome Tony Romo. Hey, Tony. How are you? I'm doing good, Jimmy. Thanks for that audience. That was really a nice gesture. Yeah, Thanks we have like a, a tenth of the audience here. Do you remember last time, by the way, last time you were on the show, we were in Austin. We had thousands of people in the audience. It was 2015. Do you remember what happened after the show that night? I do remember, actually. You decided to go ahead and sign every autograph for everybody, and I had to leave because you just didn't want to say goodbye to me. But other than that, it was a great that's, that, No, that's not what happened. What happened oh, I'm was, sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's wrong. We went to Willie Nelson's house after that show. We drove an hour and a half to Willie Nelson's house, and when we got there, Willie was sound asleep. He's not exaggerating. What actually happened, too, is he goes, hey, Let's go to Willie Nelson's. We'll have a great night. We're in Austin. This is what you got to do here. It's really, it's a big time deal. This is fun. It's going to be fantastic. I'm like, great. Let's drive around the corner and go to Willie's house. And then we get in the car and it's like, okay, it's 97 minutes away. And I'm like, okay, this should be a great time. But at that point, it's going to be midnight. Should we continue to go or should we just go have a drink next door? And Jimmy, you know, as good friend as you are with Willie, you decided... We should go. And it was an interesting night. Hey, not only that, we were in the last row of a Chevy Suburban, as I recall, the one where you maybe put two kids. We were jammed in there. And then when we got there, nobody was awake. They, they said, we said, well, Willie invited us. So they went and woke Willie up. And <laughs> Willie came out. His braids were all <laughs> up. It was, it was, it was, yeah, well, well, anyway. By the way, by the way, when we actually went there, you got to remember, it wasn't just, hey, let's go hang out with Willie. There's a good shindig going on. There's right. something going on. It's going to be a fun little party, get together for just, like, friends, family, just a bunch of, like, fun people. You're going to have a great time. I'm like, wow, Jimmy's inviting me. This is really cool and special. <laughs> and I get to see Willie Nelson. I'm so excited. <laughs> Guess what? We go 97 minutes. Um, <laughs> Willie went to sleep. No one's here. The party ended two hours ago. Do you guys want to hang out? I'm like, well, we drove 97 minutes. Maybe we should at least hang out for five minutes. Is it allowed to come through the gate? Because that was questionable, too. And then we were right back on the road again on the way home, yes. 97 more minutes home. But, you, boy, wow, that seems like, I know it was only five years ago. It seems like it was 30 years ago. You were playing for the Cowboys at that time. Now you've become this big-time broadcaster. And I really, I want to say this, and, I, and I'm not just tooting my own horn here. I feel like my cousin Sal and I are partly responsible for your success. I do. I'm, I actually have to agree with you. You guys were absolutely, once I saw you guys and what you had to do in life, I said, I don't want to be that. I've got to go do something better. And that was really key. So I decided to make a change. I think you guys really helped me. Before you signed for CBS, and correct me if I have any of this wrong, we came to your house, we came to Dallas for your retirement party, <laughs> and it was the daytime, was before, we showed up way early for the party. We're either late or early, there's no in between. <laughs> And we showed up way early for the party, and you and Sal were talking, and Sal said, hey, you know, be a good way to practice is to play Madden, and all the elements are there. We could play Madden, and you could do the, the color commentary during the video game. You said, oh, that's a great <laughs> idea, Sal. So the two of you sat down and started playing Madden, and I think you practiced for about three minutes, and then you just started playing Madden the whole time. And then we watched you play Madden for like four hours. <laughs> And a well, teenager was taunting you, as I recall, right? Well, it, you know, it's online, and so yes. you, there's a lot of competition involved, and so I <laughs> wish I could have really been more receptive to you and Sal being next to me <laughs> as you're writing, you know, all your stuff about, hey, what am I going to say tomorrow for funny stuff? And I'm like, there's nothing you can say that's funny because you're not funny. <laughs> but you were writing, and all of a sudden Sal's like, Tony, like, what are you doing here? I'm like, there's a kid who's, like, in the top 100 in the world. we got to play him on Madden here. I mean, this is a big game. You were not playing like, yourself either. As I thought it was interesting that you picked Ben Roethlisberger as your player, and then this kid was taunting you, not having any idea that he was playing the real Tony Romo. Well, I'm not prejudiced at all to who I play with or who I play against. At the end of the day, it's about winning, Jimmy. It's about and winning, yeah. Like, 
And that's that's what it's all about. And I decided if I'm going to try and win, I got to get rid of Tony Romo in this game, whether I'm playing with him or beating him. And you got Big Ben in there. That was, but you were surprised. I have to say, I was amazed at how well and quickly, and I guess it's dumb, but how quickly you read all the defenses playing Madden, and it made me realize that Madden's really like, I mean, that's a, that's like a real game, right? It's a real game. I will say this. They've actually done a better job. In the last five years, they've really evolved it to where you can almost teach your high school kids by playing Madden, and I know that sounds crazy because I'm, our kids get video game time. It's cut off at certain times. But ultimately, it teaches you cover three. These are the concepts to beat cover two, cover three, man to man. And the game does a really good job at that. And that right there is what taught Sal about football. That's he right. Didn't know anything. That's before. how Cousin Sal learned about football. Another one of your gifts, and I think this is a hidden talent, and I, I'm hoping that you can share this with the world. It's you do impressions, and now a lot of people do impressions, but these are not the typical voice impressions that people do. You do impressions of other quarterbacks. No, and, I don't. Yeah, oh. <laughs> now, I seem to recall being at a restaurant with you, at which time you did the stances of various quarterbacks. You know what I'm talking about? Never, don't remember that at that all. That doesn't ring a bell to you. Is it because ah, of the- the first I've heard of this. Did you forget it but while you... we were at Willie's house? Is that what happened? <laughs> well, that, that was the night that I forgot a lot of stuff. I will admit though, <laughs> that uh, you're asking me to do something. Do Just one. Give me a guy. Do I'll one. go ahead and make it, make it look okay. Do Tom, do Tom Brady, because these are, I mean, these are fantastic. Do a little Tom Brady. Let's see. What I don't even know. Who'd you want? I Brady? want Tom Brady. Yeah, Tom Brady. Uh, I don't know. All right. All right. We'll see. This is the best I got, though. I'm, I'm telling you, this is silly. Okay. I'll yeah. try. I'll try. We'll, make we'll it be work. the judge of that. We'll be the judge of that. Here we he gets, go. He gets a snap. Okay. <laughs> that's good. All right. Come on. Now that's Pey good. Now, now Peyton Manning. You ready? Okay, do Peyton, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. All right, Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Let's go right, back Favre. in time. Right? All right, you're All right, on a roll. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's. You know what? I think you got to show that. I think this could. You could. You could be in Vegas in the off season doing this stuff. Think about oh, I it, could Tony. Be. And then my wife would go ahead and say, go ahead and stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, it's great to see you. I know you're doing the Super Bowl. You got Super Bowl 50. Do you think there will be a Super Bowl this year? <laughs> will we have one? I do. I, the NFL's done an unbelievable job getting everything ready. I mean, the fact they're at this point, it's really incredible. They, obviously, they've done things right. I mean, at the end of the day, it's obviously not going to be like what you had with Miley Cyrus and how cool that was. Right, right. This. Right, right, but obviously. Other than that, yeah. that's, this, this is second. Can we watch you open a box for like half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Tony Romo, do with my hands. Watch Tony and uh, Jim Nance on the NFL on CBS every Sunday. And Super Bowl 55, February 7th. Tony Romo. Thanks, Tony. We'll be back with music from Miley Cyrus. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or if you want to be that way about it, don't.